Right then, insertion sorts. So just like bubble sorts, insertion sorts aren't actually that efficient. Uh, you probably won't find many computers doing insertion sorts these days. But they're useful to understand again how data could possibly be sorted and the idea that a computer can have a range of options, a range of different algorithms to choose from when it needs to do something like sorting data. Let's bring back the numbers from the bubble sort. So if you've watched that video, these numbers will be seen very familiar. And then we're going to bring in the key difference for an insertion sort. So we don't have the idea of a bubble, but for an insertion sort, we've got the idea of two parts of the list, which I'm just going to separate with this wavy line, okay? Uh, and we've got an unsorted part of the list, which is going to be on this side. And then we've got a sorted part of the list, which is going to be on the left hand side of that wavy line. And to start with, the sorted part of the list is empty. OK, um, but then we start moving up this line one by one. So let's move it across here. So now 43 is on my sorted part of the list. So if you imagine these are now two separate lists, this is a list with a length of one and this is a length of four. Is 43 sorted? Well, yes, it's in its own separate list with a length of one. OK, so that's sorted. And so I'm going to move up my line now. Uh, and now I've got sorted and unsorted. I've got two items in the sorted part of it. But you may have noticed 26 is not in the right place. It's not sorted now. So I need to keep swapping that number back until it is in the right place. So 26 moves there and 43 moves back there. That's all fine. That's all sorted. So we move up the sorted part of the list. Uh, we move up this wavy line once more over here. And now 18 is the one we need to swap in the correct place. Now. 18 doesn't magically jump to the front. If that happened, this would be the most efficient sorting algorithm in the world. What needs to happen is it needs to swap back one by one until it's in the correct position. So 18 is first going to move there, and then 18 is going to move there, and 26 is going to move there. And then my sorted part of the list is, is fine. It's all sorted again. So I'm going to move up that wavy line again one more to 39. That's going to cause me to have to swap 39 and 43 over them. So I'm moving 39 back to the correct position in the list. There you go. Let me just bring this in a bit and 53 because we're nearly at the end now and I don't want that wavy line to go off the edge of the screen. So finally, I need to move my wavy line up once more here. Uh, and then everything is in the sorted part of the list. And I don't need to do anything with 53 because it's in the correct position. It's greater than 43. And there you go, once that wavy line has gone from the left hand side right the way through to the right hand side of the list, I know it's sorted. And just like with bubble sorts, this obviously works with letters or anything else that can be put into order as well. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.